Emily, Hi, Jerry. how's it going? Good. It's so good, how are to you, see chef? you. I'm doing great. Oh, I'm gonna step up right here next to you so we can start cooking together I today. I love it, we're on the same level, right? <laughs> yes, I yes. Like <laughs> I like it. Well, welcome to the Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. I'm Chef Jerry from Winter Park. And I'm Chef Emily from Orlando. Uh, we're coming up on Valentine's Day, Jerry. I can't believe it's already here. I know. So today, we're going to cook up a day night to remember in just 30 minutes. And if you haven't already, you can print out these recipes at publix.com slash online classes and cook along with us. I love it. If you're tuned into this YouTube premiere of this episode, we have Apron Chef standing by in the comment section below to chat with you live during the premiere. So if you've got a question, just ask. Just ask. That's right. I just love ask. it. You ready to get this party started? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's talk menu. Let's talk the menu. Yes, we're going to start off with a praline pecan arugula salad featuring our Pompeian balsamic vinegar and extra virgin olive oil. I love the acidity of that. Oh, that I sounds do so too. great. Oh, yes. So let's move on to the main course where we're going to prepare a pan seared beef tenderloin and shrimp scampi surf and turf mm. with an oven roasted asparagus. That is wonderful. On that asparagus, we're going to feature our Kerry Gold garlic herb butter and a lessie kosher sea salt. Sounds like a big mouthful there. But wait, we have desserts. Oh, it's the best I part. I know, I can't wait. Uh, we'll end our meal with some warm chocolate hazelnut crepes featuring our McCormick ground cinnamon and Melissa's crepes. Yummy. Yes. So we've got our stoves turned on. Perfect. Our cooktops are ready. Yes. Let's party, man. Let's, Let's go. Let's do this. All right, we're going to make a vinaigrette first for okay. our arugula salad. I have some balsamic vinegar here. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of that. In just a moment, Jerry, I'm gonna have you help me out here. Can I do the, the extra virgin oh, olive yes, oil? Oh, yes, definitely. I, I would appreciate it. that help. How about I steal that from you? Do you want this? You're I gonna put do. it away for I'm me. Gonna Thank put you. It away. Cleaning together Perfect. is so much better. Cleaning together, those who clean together stay together. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna add a tablespoon of honey. Hey, honey. <laughs> hey, honey. <laughs> and uh, also our Dijon uh, to kind of emulsify that because we're gonna bond we're gonna the bond. oil and the vinegar together. That's right. Yep, so add some of that in there. It adds also a nice little uh, like a tang? citric tang little to it. Tang. It's so nice. Makes me want to move my shoulders when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> Cook and with you your should. whole self. And I'm going to add a pinch of salt awesome. and a pinch of pepper, but not too much pepper because it's going to go over some arugula, and arugula has got nice peppery notes to it. It'll be nice, oh. a nice balance. So, Chef, I'm going to have you, you drizzle for in this? some olive oil right, for here me. Here we go. Drizzle, man. Drizzle. And you really want to whisk that together well because, again, just like if you're making a hollandaise sauce, uh, the egg yolk, which binds that, the mm -hmm. Dijon's going to bind that and we're going to whisk that together quickly and I think nice. we should give this a taste. What do you think? I think that's the only thing that we oh, can do. Taste, taste as you go. Yes, if you don't, you don't know what you're making. You that's never right. want to serve food that you've never tasted. That's so true. Good tip. Mm, that's perfect. It really is. Here, I'll take that's that sweet. from you. Thank you. That mm. sweetness is so good. Delicious. Well, I put this aside. Thank we're going to talk about a little bit of garlic. Oh, garlic, huh? And we're going to mince some garlic, What's man. What's that for? This is actually going to be for our shrimp scampi shrimp as scampi? well as our asparagus. So I've got my knife here. I'm going to keep my blade away. We're going to get some aggression out. Oh, it's been a and rough it's day. It's been a rough day. <laughs> Let's get some aggression out. We're going to so smash garlic, huh? Smash it, man. So if you'll notice when you're <laughs> smashing garlic and you smash it like this, it doesn't really work because as you can see here, there's a gap. Yes. So you want to make sure that it's a flat surface. Flat surface. So go for it and just smash away. Oh, wow. That's and quick if you and do easy. it right, it it's comes right out. And that's smashed. It's that's awesome. so easy. It is easy. And you know, the fun part is, is when it starts going everywhere, that's even more fun. <laughs> it's okay. You can mop the floors later, Chef. <laughs> we'll, we'll clean it together. <laughs> that's, it, it's not a joke. I no. probably will. Yeah, there you go. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going right. to chop uh, some strawberries. I like it. Let's do it. Strawberries are going to go with our uh, dessert a little bit later. So Perfect. just taking the tops off of those. Right. And um, get the green uh, green top set aside, so that way we can get ready. And what are you I doing? Like I'm dividing. dividing your garlic between you and me, so I'm going to give these to you over here. Thank you. I like it. A little bit for the shrimp, and I'm going to take a little bit for the asparagus and put that right to the side. Nice. Nice. So you've got your strawberries going on. While you're doing that, we're going to talk some parsley. Oh, what do you do with the parsley? We're going to make that parsley go up, and we're going to put it right on our, <laughs> our board here. We're going to talk about this. I like to take this off, just a little oh, bit of take, pork. Take, you can take off the, the leaves. leaves off, it's so great. Mm -hmm. Or, and then you can use this actually. Oh, uh, the stem? As a stem for your uh, oh, stocks or soups or whatever you want to do. Stock soups, some pesto. It's awesome. So Definitely. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to get my knife going. 
Oh, we're gonna mince. Quick chop. I like Quick how you put chop. your hand on top so it's safe. I do. It also adds a little bit of weight to the blade so that it comes down and goes all the way through without bruising so much. Yes, and you know, if you, uh, if you need to sign up for some of our knife skills classes, we have those. Well, quite often Absolutely, we have them at least twice a quarter in every one of our schools, which works out very nicely. We're making nice. sure that we've got this nice and mince. Check it out. What do you think? Oh, it looks good. I like it. Quick and easy. That's what I like for 30 minutes. Amen. So I'm going to go ahead and add my strawberries to this bowl and there set this goes. aside for a little bit later. Actually, can you turn that off for I me? I can. Are we? Is that We're just your... going to go up to a medium high on that pan. Okay. There you go. Perfect. And I've got a little bit of olive oil that we'll add to that when we get back over there. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. And now I'm going to, uh, I know I need to do one more thing before we move on to uh, oh, our vegetables. Oh, we got to do that. i got to zest our, uh, our, <laughs> our lemon and nice. our juice our lemons. Um, we're going to do that in just a second. We have our asparagus here. Beautiful. Looking nice. We're gonna clean those and check that out. Literally, the the way to prep these is you just wanna hold this part mm -hmm. here and just snap where it breaks naturally is nice. the end that you're not going to use. This is a little bit more woody, so it's not easy to eat. So you can put these in your stock, uh, make a soup or something like a that out of it. Soup would be delicious, especially now that it's springtime, and this is the perfect season for strawberries and asparagus. Oh, I love it. Spring veggies and oh. fruits. That's right. It's time. I can't believe it. Here in Florida, we have such a great season for, we do. for fresh fruits and vegetables you all year long. You don't have to throw parts of these away. I mean, you really can use them uh, and uh, utilize every part of it. So. That's right. And don't forget to keep those questions coming for our chefs using the comment section below. Below. Down there, if you're turned into this YouTube premiere of this episode. If you want to know something about these recipes, techniques, oh, there you go. <laughs> Just about anything <laughs> kitchen related. Please uh, send it our way and we'll take care of it for Definitely. you. Definitely. Nice. Here, I can finish the prep for that, Chef. All right, do you want to do a little bit of zesting? Uh, I got zesting? some zesting, some zest in my Let's life. Let's get some zest. So for your asparagus, I'm going to mm -hmm. zest and juice the lemon uh, so that I can go for that. And the rest of the juice is going to go in my scampi recipe a little bit later. Nice. So if you see here, I have a microplane. Uh, I'm just going to pull that in the direction to pull the zest off. And you see how quick and easy that is. You just have to be careful. It's sharp. But it really, it's so its so easy to use. You can grade cheese with this. You can grade chocolate. Um, so all those things this tool can do. And then you can see I have in the cavity built up that zest. I tap that Beautiful. right in there. Oh, what are you Beautiful. doing there? I've got a little bit of olive oil that I'm adding on to this. We want to season these steaks with salt and pepper. And we're actually just being very simple today with our salt and pepper. We're Simplicity. not doing anything crazy. Simple. We want the flavor of the meat to speak for itself. And I love, absolutely love tenderloin. It's so lean, but it has great flavor. Is, Unlike a so ribeye that has, you know, more fat, this is still, it still gives that great flavor. It does, and it's so, well, you know, tenderloin has its name for a reason. It's the most tender part of, of the cow, and it does a great job of staying oh. nice and tender. Yes. It's the part of the cow that doesn't exercise as much. <laughs> so uh, seriously, so that's yes. why it stays nice and tender for us. Oh yes. So we've got that going on. So let's put this on over here. We've got our, our preheated okay. stove. It's our <laughs> stove you know. top. Yes. So we've got that going on. I'm going to pop in our olive oil now. And you can tell, I don't know if you can see this at home, but the olive oil is already nice and hot right on in there. Mm -hmm. So we've got our steaks here. We'll add that in. Uh, let's see. Here we go, uh -oh. chef. Oh, the that's great sound. sound. Great it's sound. so great. I love the sound of a sizzle. It's music to a chef's ears. It it's really absolutely is. perfect. I'm going to turn that up just a little bit as I set this aside. We're looking for a little bit of caramelization going on in there. Most of our, all of our meat products have a little bit of sugar in them, and it's the rising of the sugar to the surface oh, I that love causes that. that caramelization. That's a good point. Maillard reaction, which Amen. is caramelizing those sugars in the meat. In Absolutely. Our You've yes. got that caramelization it's, that goes beautifully. It's all science to me. It is. <laughs> so, Jerry, uh, which is great. Those look like they're going to take a little bit of time. Um, so Why don't we do our asparagus while oh, we're at it? That sounds good. All our right. asparagus, because that's going in the same oven. Oh, you got your lemon I juice. I got my lemon juice. I've okay. got my um, my zest, my garlic. We're going to go ahead and toss this together here. I've got all of my olive oil. My olive oil has a great cooking point to it. It's yes. a great. Um, Smoke it doesn't point. smoke as much as others, so it's got like a much butter higher. butter burns really quickly. Butter burns quickly, and yes. so does our extra virgin olive oh, oil. Oh, yes, yes. So we want to make sure that we've got 
um, our regular olive oil going on in there. Oh, see, we're using the zest. A little bit of zest. It's the underutilized part of the lemon and it the orange. Is. It's, it needs to be used. It should, and the reason is, is because that's where all of your oils are. That's the real essence of the flavor of your citrus. It is. We've got a little bit of garlic as well. Oh, I could always use more garlic in my life. How about you? Especially on Valentine's Day. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> We've got, oh, the fresh breath smell. Don't worry, because oh, we're eating it we're together. We're all having it together, all so it nobody together. cares. <laughs> we're just going to toss that in. You want to make sure that you truly coat this up so that it, it roasts beautifully in the oven. Oh, those are looking really, really good. That does look good. I'm a little strange. I like to make sure that all of my asparagus goes in a row. I don't know why. It's just who <laughs> okay. I am. It's okay. Nice and neat rows is and good. Nice and neat rows. <laughs> I do the same thing. <laughs> it's crazy. If there were hundreds well, on it, here, it, I'd still do it. It roasts nice and evenly it that does. way. If they're this way, it does roast beautifully. Okay. Well, let's go That's ahead true. and flip our steaks. Okay. Let's see our ready. What are you looking for? What I'm looking to see steak? if they actually will turn off from the bottom here. As you can see when I pull that off, oh, that we've got really a easy. nice caramelization. If it sticks a little bit too much, then that means it's not quite ready to go. Gotcha. As you can see on this one, it's a gorgeous caramelization. Nice caramel. I love that it's color. It's beautiful there. color. Yeah. We're just gonna turn these over right away and put them in the oven without waiting. Okay. You got the asparagus? I got the asparagus. All right, I'm gonna slip on around you here. Sounds good. On the bottom we go. On and the you can top. put that on the top. Awesome. Beautiful. And at the same time, uh, I need to start prepping my crepes. Dessert cannot it. wait. Dessert cannot wait. Let me it's, grab these. Honestly, we should have started with the crepes. I agree. It, I, you know, I agree. A little snack during food preparation never hurt anybody, uh, right? No, and I like Chef, it. If I'll, I'll have you open that for I've me. I've got that for you. Got that you. hazelnut spread that's going to go Check in between our crepes. Out. I know, and I got my butter and cinnamon set aside later. And the ice cream scoop, can't forget well, that. The ice cream scoop is actually the whole point, isn't it? <laughs> it's, I, I literally could just eat ice cream out of the oh, carton like that. That's right. If you don't have crepes, there's no ice cream. I don't know why. <laughs> why would you do that to yourself? I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. I like savory uh, crepe recipes as well. Like um, I like shrimp, like a nice mm -hmm. gumbo uh, sauce oh, in my... Nice. In my how about you? Not, what do you, what do you I like? love crepes with all sorts of different things. When um, I used to live in Germany, so yes. we would go to France quite often, and crepes right off the street corners oh. are so wonderful. Well, these are going to be almost similar, except they're just ready to go. They're ready to go. <laughs> you don't have to smear them on a pan and That's, get them nice and hot. I know, this is good. That. It's ready to go. Perfect. I have, like you can see, they're very thin and fragile, so we want to be careful when we spread mm. uh, our well, hazelnuts. don't worry. If hazelnut you've got mix. your hazelnut mix on there and you you tear it, we can just call it rustic. We'll call it rustic. See, and that's nobody cares. Mistakes aren't mistakes; they're just rustic. They're just rustic, yes. and we can charge you more money for it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, that's what we chefs do. That's right. <laughs> See how easy that is, Jerry? Just spreading that on. Nice. You could definitely do a peanut butter version of this peanut butter you and jelly. Could. Wouldn't that be great? <gasps> yes. A creamy peanut butter? Why wouldn't you? And I would definitely eat this for breakfast. How about you? Oh, I this have eaten have it for breakfast. Who are you kidding? <laughs> a little crazy. Crepe Suzette for your crepes or just a, a lovely hazelnut oh. spread right on some bread. Right on it's bread. Perfect. Mm. I'm going to actually put this off to the side oh. so we've got somewhere to go Thank with you. it. Thank you. Nice. Well, we got our spatula ready for later when this we go to cook them. This is for when we cook. Let me put this over here. I'm just folding these in half. You can see uh, getting that ready. Um, but Jerry, what kind of wine would you like with this? I with mean, this, actually, this would be a great pairing to go with something like a port. Mm -hmm. I think a port would absolutely be delicious. You're looking for the cherry section. Am I doing? Oh, <laughs> Just you can't have my spread. Fine, Gosh. I don't care. I'll share with you later, though. I promise. Oh, you better. <laughs> <laughs> you better. <laughs> but so a port would go. You look a like port a port would really go nicely with this. You can also think about for our meal. You can actually do a. Pinot Noir, oh, I or like even Pinot a Noir. white wine if you wanted to. There's no reason why you couldn't. You've got surf and turf. And if you uh, enjoy these recipes uh, for a romantic date night, uh, mm -hmm. at home you can start planning your date, next date night out. We offer classes. We do offer uh, classes. Almost every day. Uh, our Aprons Cooking School locations ranging from demonstrations to hands-on lessons with Jerry and I. You can Absolutely. work side by side with us. Featuring different techniques, cuisines, wine pairings, and so much more. So just click the link. Below, below to polux.com slash online classes to find out an aprons cooking school near you. I really want to lick the spatula, but I got to keep working. Oh, I can smell your steak. I it know. Smells it smells really good. so good. So I'm just going to fold. Oh, Do I you want me it. to help you with this? Oh, yes. We're going to gonna put a little bit more on that. You already oh. know. You already I do. know. You read We're just my gonna, mind. I did. We're you just, just going to spread a little bit more. more. <laughs> it needs more. It needs more. And it I'll needs do... more. Why wouldn't you add more chocolate? I know. 
I love extra chocolate in my life. So some strawberries on each one. Nice. They look beautiful. Nice. That red color. It really, it's so Valentine's Day. I know. That red color Almost everywhere. Almost like little hearts, little hearts. That's right. Here, I'll give you, I'll switch you. Here, we'll rotate the I'll tray. I'll trade, Check I this like out. it. Oh. You like this? That's a little trick, little trick rotation. It's a little trick. I'll give you that, and All I'm right. gonna fold these in half. Very nice. And we'll spread uh, the Put last bit on. There. And we'll cook All these right. later in the butter and the cinnamon, right? Right. I'll it, show you how to do that. I'm sure you already know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we well, know the, how to melt butter. The butter and the cinnamon will add such a great flavor profile mm. to this. It'll spice it up ever so nicely. Yes, cinnamon. Oh. More cinnamon in my life. Oh, I like how can it on you a lot of no. things. <laughs> I like it. Is there it. extra in that container for us to eat later? A little uh, bit. Not too, too well, much. Well, there's enough for me to eat. Later. Oh, okay. I don't know about that. <laughs> so I'll have you fold that one. All right. I'm just going to add these in. Nice. Very cool. That was easy. Easy peasy. I like easy. Especially on a date night. Especially on a date night. Oh, You've so got 30 good. minutes to make dinner and you want to make sure that it's done right. Well, Jerry, we did our dessert. We got to move on to the greens, which is our salad assembly. So All we right. can eat Well, let that. me grab those for you. I think they're in the fridge. Oh, yes, they are. All right. We're back. Check Jerry. it out. Oh, there we go. There is our arugula, also known as rocket salad. Oh, and you got my vinaigrette. Thank you. I do. We're just going to whisk that together again. And we'll toss that around. That'll be All good. Right. I got my uh, my Pecorino Romano and my um, praline pecans. Where did you make the pralines today? You can definitely make those, but mm -hmm. uh, I found those in our uh, produce section. Perfect. So, yes. Even easier. <laughs> I'll toss this together. A little bit of this. Or a lot of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Looking good. So. You can see how easy, Jerry, I'll have you toss that. I can and do it. And then you can see here I have a peeler, which I'm going to use to shave the cheese on top. And then I'll dress these uh, salad with our, our, our pecans. I like you it. You say pecan, pecan, anything oh, you want to say. Know. Potato, potato. Potato, potato. Works for me. I, I think like about it. half of that, probably. I think we Because we got to eat our it. greens before we get our dessert. Yes, and, and look at how good. beautifully that does. You can pile oh, that yeah. up nicely. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. A little height, a little, little shaving height, of the little cheese. little love. So Pecorino Romano is a nice uh, sheep's milk cheese. It's salty. So we didn't add a lot of salt to our salad. And you can use this cheese even in soups uh, to oh, season yeah. your soup, add a little extra saltiness to it. I'm going to add our pecans on top. That'll like add as, act as our crouton, our crunch factor for our salad. I like that. Perfect. And while you're doing that, let's check out our steak. Great. Ooh, oh look at my that. gosh, it smells Sizzling. so good. It smells really good. Look at the asparagus. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. perfect and green. It looks beautiful. It does. It's perfectly cooked. I like it. <laughs> and of course, we've got our steaks here that look ever so beautiful. Oh my gosh. We're going to temper uh, temp them, I should say. Oh yes. What you want to do with your temperatures, you want to make sure that it's around 125 degrees in there. So we'll go with that and see what it looks like. I love set it. Set this aside. You really do want to set it aside and let it continue to come to temperature for about another five to 10 minutes. When we put it in the plate, it'll be ready to go. Definitely. So we got our shrimp here, guys, some large shrimp. We're going to add uh, our olive oil to a preheated medium high pan, medium high heat there. Again, uh, a lighter tasting olive oil would be great for this. Of it won't course. overpower the other flavors. Um, I'm going to cook these on their first side for about two minutes or so. You can hear that sizzle just like you did with your steak. Nice. Pans hot and ready to go. That's the point. Yep, and I don't know about you, Jerry, but I love that Kerrygold butter. It's such a great flavor profile that's already done for you. It is good. I love it. And we're going to use it in our dessert too, which is even better. Well, of course, a little bit of dessert. I always like to say, why add one tablespoon of butter when two can <laughs> when go two is in better. just fine? <laughs> I'm going to add some salt here, chef. Some pepper, nice. just season those up. Nice. And we're gonna let those cook. Uh, once we do that for just a second, we're gonna add in um, our crushed red pepper flakes, which are great on a lot of different things in soup, on top of your pizza. But uh, not just for pizza add, anymore, that's right? right? We're gonna add it on our shrimp to spice it up a little bit on nice. Valentine's Day. A little bit of heat really adds a nice flavor touch. Yes. A lot of heat for heat's sake isn't necessarily what you're going for. And garlic just actually enough. does the same thing. It does, and the wonderful thing is that garlic will actually sweeten as it sautés. Yes. Yes, so nice. we got that going. We're going to wait for the garlic to, you know, crisp up a little bit, change color. Um, and we'll let that, once that goes for a little bit, we'll add our white wine and our lemon juice to deglaze the pan. Uh, it'll nice. pick up those brown bits on the bottom and uh, it'll make a sauce, which is pretty cool. Let's check that so. out. Well, you've got that going on. Let's look at our steak here. Okay. 
I've got a nice little tong back here that we can plate our steak with. We're gonna look at this gorgeous, gorgeous caramelization right there. Look at there. that. Check and that oh, out. All the, the juices bottom in the is pan. beautiful. Oh, it's so nice. It's dripping. It still looks delicious. Oh, you want it to be the drippiness because oh, yes. that really means that you it's nice and tender. Nice juices, yes. Yeah, and you could really, as you were gonna say, uh, make a nice sauce with make that. Make a nice sauce. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and add some of this. How do you like to plate your dishes, Chef? You know, I would love to put the asparagus leaning up the steak so that I way it shows too. some height if you want to get fancy. It does. You can do it simple and just put it on the plate. Nobody's going to say anything if you're cooking dinner anyway, right? How about we build it up and oh. put it leaning against just like that. It looks so nice. That looks and good. then we can put some of that sauce that you're going to make on top of it a little bit later. Yep. I'm going to add our white wine. You can use a dry white wine. Smell that. You oh, yeah. I always like to say, you know, sometimes Lemon I'll juice. add white wine to my dishes, but most of the time I just drink it. <laughs> Some for the shrimp, some for you. The shrimp had enough. You need some wine, Jerry. Yes, definitely. So we're just going to let that reduce about halfway. About and then halfway. once I'll pull that off the heat completely, and then I'll add our curry gold butter there uh, and uh, our parsley. It's looking beautiful. I mean, mm -hmm. can you smell that aroma? It looks great. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull that off the heat. Nice. And add my butter in. I know we're ready to eat the steak. I'm Got to taste that salad first, though. See that how that salad, salad looks, it's so looks like nice. it's looking at us. It I wants know, to be it's, eaten. It's saying eat me anytime eat soon. <laughs> I like it. All right. Let's well, Chef, could you over. get well, us you, some silverware? I can work that Thank out. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. See, I'm just swirl that in. I come prepared. That's oh, look at that. You Check are prepared. That out. That's awesome. This Turning spoon is for out. our sauce. Yes. Nice. I'm going to add our parsley in that you chopped and worked so hard on. Nice. The smell of that parsley hitting the, the pan is actually really nice. It adds that green Nice uh, green color. To it. Yeah. That the pepperiness of uh, parsley. Does. The lemon is really coming out right now. You can smell all the herbs as they're sautéing. It's Definitely. so nice. Swirl the butter in Check a little bit. Check that sauce out. I don't know about you, Jerry, but I would love extra butter right about now. Oh, here. yes. <laughs> All right, so can I? Uh, you can. Let's do it. I'm gonna put it on there so it cools down before we eat it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Some shrimp for you, some nice. for me. Nice. See how that height is really adding to the flavor. That's a beautiful, beautiful. presentation. Little sauce there. Little sauce. A little bit of pour over on that steak. Sauce looks good. I want to dive nice. in. I'm ready. I'm Let's ready check too. out this salad. <laughs> now you gotta get a complete bite here. I know. We gotta definitely Don't try. Don't forget to get the. Pecans. Uh, you gotta get the pecan on there. Here we Are go. You ready? Cheers. <laughs> Mmm. Mm. The vinaigrette is perfect. There's some yeah. sweetness there that you're not expecting. The balsamic actually does add sweetness, mm -hmm. even though it's a vinegar. Um, it does. You really can um, appreciate the crunch of the, pe uh, the pecans. It really does, and the caramelization on those pecans is really Really good. Yes, a little sugar. Nice. Um, but then also that salty cheese. The salty cheese really does compensate for not adding any seasoning to the lettuce already. Yes. It's really nice. Yes. Oh, and now we got the best I'm part. Ready for the best part. Thank you. I give you the knife. You got a knife? I Perfect. got a knife. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Let's so let's dig check in. this steak out. Let's see how we I'll, did. I've had a shrimp for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice. We've got oh, a really nice steak there. It's <gasps> nice color. Nice. It does. Good. Oh, man. And the sauce from the shrimp, I just want to get some of that. Yeah, get, get on in that. there. I Here like we go. it. Should we go? You ready? Here Are we, we going to do it together? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go for it. We're oh, zoom in. Oh, there Which we way? Go. Which way? Mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Great job on the steak. That's awesome. The shrimp. The I shrimp is that. so tender. Spice from the uh, chili pepper flake. Mm hmm. Brightness from the lemon juice. Mmm. I'm getting the meatiness from the steak. Mm. And the simplicity of the seasoning is really helping. Yeah, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Make sure you season your steak. Nothing more than salt and pepper, and it goes so nicely. Asparagus has a nice snap, too. Did you I hear that snap? I did hear the snap. You want it to be a little al dente. Mm -hmm. If it's a little too loose, a little too limp, then it's not going to taste as good. No. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm, the crunch is so nice. The lemon, um, lemon zest is wonderful. Again, nice bright citrus notes to go with that shrimp, the seafood. It does. Mm -hmm. It really adds a little bit of flavor to it that you're not expecting. It's so nice. I think we did really good on this. I think we did too, but you know what's next? Ah, oh, dessert. Hallelujah. Finally. I like it. <laughs> Here we go. So we're going to turn this up. Thank you. Get that nice and hot. We're going to add a little bit of our butter. Oh, just a little bit. Oh, I'll get I don't the know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'll get the ice cream. How about that? I like the ice cream. It's my favorite part. 
So as you're noticing, this butter is melting in ever so nicely. We're gonna add a little bit of the cinnamon to it. The cinnamon is really going to be, uh, hydrate actually in this and cause it to actually caramelize a little bit more. Mm, yes. Nice. Oh, chef, while you melt Check that, that I'm gonna out. grab something. Are you gonna, all right. I so we've got our caramelization happening with that, that cinnamon. We're gonna add our crepes. You wanna add them one at a time so that it goes in there and cooks quickly. You've only got about 30 seconds that's to cook not, these. That's not too long. That's right. 30 minutes and 30 seconds to do the crepe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You want it to be a nice quick cook so that it doesn't burn the crepe because the crepe is so delicate. It. You're just trying to melt that warm chocolate. Melting the chocolate, yep. Very nice. All right, let's see what we got here. I've got my plastic turner. Looks good. Let me, get a, let me get a plate for you, chef. Thank you. We're definitely <sighs> coating all of that in the cinnamon. Check out the... The coating I'm there. just glad you're cooking me four of those. I've been, I've been waiting all night for this. <laughs> well, how about we share two and okay, then uh, okay. you can have the other two. Okay, thank you. I like it. <laughs> Here you go. All right, so a little one there. Nice if job. you really wanted to, you could also uh, garnish this oh. with a little bit of strawberries, powdered maybe sugar. some powdered sugar. More sugar, the better. Amen. Yes. All right, Jerry, just in case, fork or spoon, your choice. Oh, I want. I'm gonna go ahead and give. I want a fork, but we need some ice cream. I know. Here we go. Look at that. I love it. I'm gonna move this over here. All right. Thank I'll take you. care of the ice cream. Thank you. Perfect. Don't don't take all of it. I'll eat that later. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dive in. I'm ready. I'm gonna go on this side. Oh, you got to. Oh, wow. look is at it that. Just, is it me or is it getting romantic? I think it's getting romantical. This is wonderful. Look at that. We've got our own it. floating candles. <gasps> You've floating, gotta candles. Love floating candles. Here Cheers. we go. Cheers again. Mm. Mm. I like how it just coats your mouth. Mm. Oh my gosh. It does. It just coats your mouth and that sweetness mm. and the, the actual creaminess goes over and does The a great cinnamon job. and the ice cream are like best friends. They are. There's the like one spice, without the other, cream. it doesn't work so mm. nice. It's fresh strawberries. Nice. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Well, good job, chef. Good job. I, I think like, we did it. I think we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess it's time this? to talk about our spring. Shall we blow our candles? I think so. All right, here we go. Nice. So, <laughs> speaking of spring, our next episode will premiere on March the 9th at 6 p.m. Wow. Eastern Standard Time. Mark your calendars. I know I'll be hosting some friends to watch the big game or two later in the month. <laughs> so it sounds like a great time to yes. talk about creating some amazing game day appetizers. Yes, it is. We'll be fill, uh, filling some delicious steamed pork dumplings, Stuffing some baked empanadas, and my favorite, rolling up some rollatinis zucchini. made of zucchini. <laughs> I like it. Mark your calendars and be sure to tune in for the premiere to be part of our live chat with our chefs Ooh. who are still available to you. Yes, yes, and, uh, and remember if you enjoy cooking along with us today, you can ch uh, click the link uh, to check out our list of Publix Aprons Cooking Schools where you can take classes from our talented chefs like Jerry. And like Emily. Uh, we had a lot of fun, guys. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>